Since Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this repair safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. Whether your repair is simple or complex, you'll be more successful if you break the procedure down into steps, making it more manageable. I'll take you through this part replacement repair one step at a time. To replace the front shock absorber in your LG washer, you will need half inch deep well socket, pliers, spring removal tool, and a drill driver with a Phillips bit. Before you begin the procedure, unplug the washer. Pull the washer away from the wall. Unthread the two screws on the top panel. Slide and lift the top panel off. Unthread the screw securing the right side of the control panel. Open the drawer and push down on the push tab and remove the detergent disassembly. Unthread the two screws that secure the left side of the control panel. Pry the three tabs, then pull back and lift up to free the control panel. Unplug the harness to the control panel. Unclip the drain hose, then unthread the two Phillips screws. Pull out the case. Unthread the screw underneath the drain pump cleanout. Insert the spring tool on either end of the spring and pull to remove the ring. Detach the boot seal from the front panel. Unthread the six screws on the front panel. Push the panel down to release it from the tab. Unplug the door lock from the harness. Lift the front panel up and away from the washer. Use a half inch deep well socket to depress the tabs on the locking pins, then remove them with the pliers. Remove the shock from the brackets. To install the new shock absorber, place the shock into the brackets. Use a small amount of grease to lubricate each of the pins. Insert the pins until they lock into place. Set the panel on the three tabs and plug in the harness. Push the panel upright and lock it in place with the tab. Rethread the six screws into the panel.
Rethread the screw into the drain pump. Feed the drain hose through the case and place in the washer. Rethread the two Phillips screws and clip in the drain hose. Tuck the boot seal into the front panel. Tuck the ring into the seal starting at the top. Insert the spring removal tool into the ring to securely seat it into the seal. Plug the wire harness back into the display board. Insert the control panel into its grooves and push forward to snap in place. Rethread the two screws on the left side of the control panel. Align the detergent assembly and push in until it snaps into place. Rethread the screw on the right side of the control panel. Set and slide the top panel onto the washer. Rethread the two screws onto the panel. Push the washer back into place. Plug in the power. And your washer should be ready for use.